Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. In these tough economic times, you may be wondering where are all the high paying jobs? Well, a lot of them are in fields that require a good STEM education. And here to tell us more about what a STEM education is is Dr. Pamela Clute. Thank you very much for being here. Good morning, Leslie. What is a STEM education? Uh, STEM is an acronym that stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And these are the subjects that pretty much dominate the world today with respect to the economy. Um, when you look at the fastest growing, best paying job opportunities, they're in areas like media, business services, engineering, computer science, and all of those fields of study require a strong savvy in math and science. Now, you're also the Assistant Vice Chancellor at UC I Riverside. Am, yes. What are the major stumbling blocks uh, for uh, women, especially, pursuing uh, STEM? technology education? Well, you know, women represent over half of our labor force, and so we want very much for them to move forward and take careers on in these particular fields. And the number one stumbling block, 52% uh, of the people say, is uh, the lack of role models and mentors in the field of STEM. And the number two stumbling block is the lack of solid mathematical preparation for science, technology, or engineering. It seems that a student really needs to get on the right path, on that road to that education, very very early in their education. Oh, absolutely, and I think one of the key things teachers can do is make the material relevant. And I'd like to quickly demonstrate what I mean by that, because quite often in mathematics classrooms, students learn an awful lot about the parts of a circle. And I think a good teacher using good strategies will show a student how to take that circle and transform it into this particular shape called a tetrahedron. And this is the shape that brings reception to your cell phones. And so I think once young people understand and why they're learning about a circle and how that relates to their life and how it relates to something they use every day in their life, there's much greater interest in studying those particular areas. I think uh, young people especially enjoy technology. They love their cell phones. They love all of their other uh, apparatus that uh, bring them all their entertainment. And uh, it is inspiring to understand that these are the elements that bring these things to life. Tell us more about like the elements that go into this, what this well, uh, well, I think has what, to do with it. One of the things that's so important in today is to take all the different subjects and integrate them, and science is a great vehicle for that. Mm -hmm. For example, this is a shape called an icosahedron, and it is the shape of many of the viruses that cause the common cold. And the reason you want to know about that is because if you're a biochemist, you're in the business of designing the drugs that relieve the symptoms of a common cold, and you need to know something about the shape. For a young girl, I can turn this into an art form and have something very creative that they can construct and create. What's going on locally to inspire young people? In into these fields. Within the area of San Bernardino and Riverside County, there's a fabulous program entitled GEMS, Girls Excelling in Mathematics and Science. And we've reached about 4,700 young girls, middle school girls in particular, along with their teachers and counselors. Why is it so important to get uh, interested in these fields early in the education? I think because young girls in particular need to establish their self-confidence. These are traditionally subjects that have been dominated by males and a lot of times girls have the ability but they lack the interest because they don't see the relevance and they don't have the confidence. And there are really the building blocks and uh, these young people can be mentors to the next, next generation. Next generation. And so the best thing a parent can do is expose the girls to all of this and give them the confidence that they too can perform in these traditional fields. What do you tell the kids uh, about the jobs that are possible for them if they enter into these uh, education. I fields. tell them to look at the salaries. If you mm -hmm. want to make good money, these are the fields that are, are allowing you those opportunities. All right. Thank you very thank much, you. Uh, thank Dr. You. Pamela Clute from uh, University of Riverside. And thank you for tuning in. Stay with us. More HLN coming up right after this.